So 75% of donors say they want to hear outcomes and they want to hear ROI. And yet the vast majority of nonprofits, not just groups that work with violence against women, but the vast majority of nonprofits do not talk about outcomes and they really don't understand the difference. So this is actually a template designed to explain from the vision of a domestic violence or sexual violence organization, how you could start to move the needle and track outcomes and ROI as opposed to input and output. So um, when you compare yourselves to others across uh, North America, 78% of the over 250 shelters that we surveyed last fall said that they did in fact count outputs. And when they put out impact reports, when they talk to their donors, they might call it impact, but they're really talking about outputs. Again, things you can count on your fingers. And the problem with outputs is it doesn't tell your donors that you're really doing anything because you offer that service. So we have to take it to the next level and say, because someone came into shelter, what changed? Or because they got a counseling session, what changed? Because they got a safety plan, what changed? And so we have to be asking ourselves those questions because that's what donors want to hear. And if you're just talking outputs, you're gonna be getting smaller donations. When you move into this other area of outcomes, that's when the donations grow because donors feel like they're investing in your program rather than just giving you money to do a service. So we want to make sure we're moving everybody towards outcome focused communication. And this next year, when you're starting to draft and develop that next impact report, know that while it's not a bad thing to talk about outputs, you really need to go that next level. So we're going to give you some tools to do that.